What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trey 2323. TRAV 2323. Subscribe, like, and share. Look what I got. Pretty excited here, but I don't know how to use it, but let's unbox it anyways. This is a grow wall. So tell me this, have you been looking into solar or have you been thinking about solar electricity? Well, I am a DIYer. I used to say jack of all trades, master of none, but what I've been saying lately is uh, master of cross-referencing. I've been cross-referencing, 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 and since I'm a DIYer and I'm not using city power or connecting to the grid, I can actually use a grow watt system. And this is unboxing a grow watt system. G-R-O-W-A-T-T. Ah, look how cute the little disc they, they give you. I am going to buy the... Uh, the Wi-Fi to connect this to my computer so I can listen. This is a grid so off-grid solar inverter FPF 3000 TL LVM. This is what comes in your grow watt inverter. Okay, I'm gonna put the box down so I can pick it up here. All right, so we do got some cables here. Let me get closer for you to see them. All right, this is a USB. I want to say this is a 2.0. Okay, this is a PC to PC. Wow, I haven't seen those in a long time, right? And no idea what those are. So somebody can tell me what those are right there. I don't even know how much of that. Oh, that's just one wire. That probably goes from one computer to the next one. And these are to loop them together because you can actually... Uh, put these like side by side together, but I wouldn't if I were to upgrade I don't really need to upgrade from what this is. This is just a hobby for me But uh, if I were if you were to upgrade you could put them in series with each other. So let me pick it up right here It's actually a little bit heavier than I thought it was gonna be Here is the grill watt powering tomorrow grill watt. Uh, I don't have anything plugged in yet. I'm still waiting for some stuff to go, come in. So this is the first part of it that has came in. Let's see. So all right, pull. You can pull this off right here, but let's just see on the bottom what we got here. AC input, AC output, a breaker. Uh, oh, the BMS could go. I don't know if the. Oh, this is the BMS right here. Look at BMS. That's probably not for the battery I'm running. USB, this is for the Wi-Fi, I know that. Uh, on and off, DC input. Uh, PV input, DC input right here and right here. So these will be the coming from the LG Chem Pack that I have. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is part one. This is just unboxing the Grow Watt. That's actually what you get with it right there. So I'm doing a video also about uh do-it-yourself solar because there's so much groups out there they've been helping me a whole lot i would like to say those lg chem packs i got they're uh another company actually taking them apart from a battery backup and these were the good cells so i bought 14 of them and i got to run them in series and then i bought a bms that's a battery management system so they could all charge evenly man this is my head feels like exploding right now either way this is stage one part one i got my grow watt Powering for tomorrow and what I just actually read about this is I don't know if this one is I haven't taken out the inside But these are not UL listed uh, There was a guy that I was just reading about in the forum that he says that these are supposed to be really good Although he can't use them because they're not UL listed and his city won't permit him to use them Well, this right here is an off-grid system. This is kind of meant for off-grid so this right here, you can pull power from the poles. Like you could plug it in. There's an outlet for this that you could plug it into your house, just like any like a uh, coffee pot or something like that. And then you could actually what it'll do is it'll take the solar power, and if you can't get enough from the solar power, then it'll go ahead and pull some from your house to top off your batteries to charge your batteries. And that's how I'm gonna have it. But there's other ones that that with this inverter right here, you don't have to 
have it plugged in at all you could just use the solar power and the solar backup and if there's no light and your batteries ain't big enough you just don't got no power till tomorrow morning but we're gonna see what i can power with this you know i always say i got five fish tanks this more than likely could power my whole basement i got the five fish tanks led lights refrigerator from freezer down there deep freezer and refrigerator oh and my boiler my boiler is a 20 amp breaker La, 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 la. so that's what's in the basement so uh i'm gonna go a little bit this is just for unboxing this girl out of order and as you can see you really don't get much one thing that everybody says is read the manual they said the manual to read it read it read it setting this up there are so much different settings that you could do on it and i got a lithium i am but these are Man, these are what's happening. This is what's in the end right now. These are what's trending right here. They're powering a lot of other countries. So I finally got my hands on one. This right here, I think I paid $8.58 for this right here. And this is part one. Uh, on the way right now is, like I said, those uh, LG Chempack batteries. I think I paid $3.50 for 14 batteries. But I'm going to run them in series. And if you think, well, what series? What series? If you put two batteries in a flashlight, you ran them in series. But uh, you got to Google that because I don't want to give anybody electric shock. So I'm going to run them 14 batteries in series. That Those were like 352 to have them shipped from California to here. Then I got a battery management system. It's like I think $50 to $70. And that's to put onto the batteries to make sure all the cells are balanced good. Uh, I haven't bought my, uh, my, photo, my, my uh, solar panel series splitter with a circuit box. There's circuits in there. Because you're running pulse power. Now you're dealing with power. So from solar panels, there's a voltage and there's current and there's wattage coming through the lines. So you got to put them into a panel with the breaker before you send them to here. But seeing that when you run those, uh, you're not going to run six or seven different lines in here. You run them all to, for lack of a better term, a junction box, a, can a combiner box. You run them into the combiner box with the breakers, and there's a main breaker that comes from the combiner box to here. I haven't bought yet that yet. That's about $200. Uh, I bought my so I bought four solar panels so far, and everybody in the forums were laughing at me because I got uh, four 100-watt, 12-volt solar panels. So I'm running the 48-volt system, so I had to get at least four of those solar panels to run them in series to make 48 volts. And they're like, that's completely inadequate. I'm like, story of my life. So they said on top of that, with the series combiner box, I could get two 350 watt 20 volt panels, 20 volt panels, run those in series and put them in the same combiner box to come to here. And that should be enough. So, uh, but I'm gonna go into another video. Oh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I still gotta get the another main breaker to go from the batteries to this. I gotta get a fuse to go from the battery to this. And I gotta get all the wires and the ends and the spleen. So there's just so much. So just follow along, follow with me. And this is gonna be my DIY solar uh, for my house. Uh, there's a lot of forums out there. Will Prowse and David Paz. Will Prowse and David Paz, they've just gave me so much information on YouTube videos. But then there's DIY Solar Forum that I've been on, and there's DIY Battery that I've been on on Facebook. So either way, follow me, follow along, and let's grow with this together. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.